So in today's video, I wanted to walk through my aim training because I get a lot of comments asking about what I do for my aim training. So first of all, what you want to do is go to your settings in the top right, go to options, matchmaking, and then go to disarm bomb. Turn this on and turn the other three off under the training grounds. Uh, settings and then for the map you want to go to boulder turn on boulder and turn all the others off so once that is done you then want to start a training grounds uh, solo I do not use any aim training outside of rainbow I don't use any websites I don't use any aim program everything I do happens within the game you then want to choose Amaru or just anyone of your choice really, but I prefer Amaru. And basically uh, what I tend to do, I try to get a specific objective. So we'll see if it works. So you come to this window and fly in. Okay, you can sit. Okay, basically, you need the objective to be here. If the objective is not here, I usually restart. So I fly through the window, and of course, if it is here, you are going to jump into a bunch of terrorists, which then you can land into this chaos and practice your aim. That's the first step for my aim training. So I yeet in. And obviously I'm going to land it in the middle of them all. And then I practice my flicks. Turn around. You know, pew, pew, pew. If the bomb is not here, I tend to restart. And I'll show you why in a second. Well, I mean, the first reason is so when I do yeeting, uh, I will land in all of this. The second reason is which, yeah, you will see in a second. The next step in my aim training is... I will go around the entire map and kill all the terrorists. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So obviously as usual, just as any other tea hunt, you want to run around and you know, whatever you want to practice. If you want to practice crosshair placement, you can practice crosshair placement. Uh, I tend to like to just run into the chaos and kind of improve reaction time so kind of think when you're on a website how you can pick uh, reaction time flicking so on so on i kind of do the same concept but i do it in game since that's truly how to get the best one-to-one -one, uh, sensitivity and improvement is actually playing the game so as i was saying if you're uh, practicing crosshair placement practice crosshair placement if you want to aim head level practice aiming at head level i said what i want to practice it will vary depending on what you want to practice the thing i like to practice is flicking and getting myself into situations where i have to flick so instead of peeking like this i would just run in and one, I'm improving my reaction time because I'm seeing them. And then secondly, I'm then flicking to them and improving my flicks. So if you're in a real game though, of course, you're not going to want to do this in the aim. If you are in a real game, you do want to do this. Um, but that's not what I'm practicing. Of course, when I am in a real game, I will do this. But the reason I do this and then flick... It's because I want to practice my flicking and if I do ever get into a situ uh, situation like that in game, I have done my training for that. So we'll continue to kill all of the uh, terrorists and then I will show you my next step in my training.
Bearing in mind that I am on 10 health, this isn't what you usually want to do. You want to try and save as much HP as possible. But if you're if you're doing my training where you are just jumping in to the chaos and flicking, and then obviously your HP might go down. Uh, so hopefully maybe one day uh, Ubisoft can add a feature where like you can disable the terrorist shooting, but so on and so on. You know, that's just for some future stuff. So once you have cleared out all of the terrorists, what I usually like to do is... So, like I said at the beginning, the objective needs to be here. I will come here and plant. So, right here in this spot. The second I plant, I'm going to run up the stairs. And then this is what I'll do. So, I'll run up the stairs. Bear in mind, I am 10 HP. And I will stand here. And then I'll aim. And they will walk into the room. And then I can practice my flicking. 45 seconds. Like so. Reload. Step back. Come again. Some might come in the hallway, but they don't tend to. You can literally... You can literally sit here and practice the flicking. It can get chaos and you might get shot. Some might come up the stairs. But other than that, you should be all good. And that should be it. So that is my aim training, basically what I do. Uh, you can continue and go to the next bomb, but here I usually like to restart. So basically, let's go over my training. So none of the terrorists will come from the hallways if you do it uh, right. If you do it wrong, maybe one or two might come from the hallways. Uh, so you always got to be careful. Make sure you clear out the building before planting because one or two terrorists uh, will come from the stairs. If you sit here, aim, they're all going to come on the screen. And then you can obviously flick, flick, flick. Rather than, like, rather than being in a room doing this... It's more like, so think of a website where, you know, you do the clicking and you're flicking around your screen. This is kind of the same concept, but actually doing it in-game. So you can flick, 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 so and so on. So that's just my aim training. Uh, what I like to do, obviously, I will then restart. You can then pick up the bomb and then plant here. If you want to do some more, like, uh, aim training around corners and so on and so on. Uh, but this is just what I do for my M training. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope uh, your question has been answered. And yeah, so I hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you all. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, goodbye.